So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror my phone to my laptop. Uh, and to do that, I'm using a piece of software called Reflector 4. Uh, it, of course, it could be any mirroring software that you could use, but this one's quite good. It's, I think it's about £14, so it's not too expensive to use. Uh, I've already done it pr just before we started, so all I need to do is just click on the little eye. Okay, so I've mirrored the iPhone, so now you can see it on my laptop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photograph of a worksheet. Now I'm working from home so I don't have access to a whiteboard, but I'm probably about at the distance that people might be from a whiteboard or from a piece of information in class uh, that, you, that you might want to scan. So first of all I'm going to tap onto the camera icon, so I'm going to hold my camera up tap onto the camera icon, there's the kitchen door, so you can see it's quite quite a distance really from, from, it's difficult to see the poster from there. So if I use my telephoto lens on the camera and if I hold that down and what I can do is just use the dial there to zoom into, so I'm not going all the way, I'm, I'm going fairly size there, I'm going to take a photograph of that using the dial there and then let's come out of the camera and go into uh, my, so there's the, the picture that I've taken and at that stage what we can do is we can just tap on to the text if we wanted to it's not coming up on the uh, on the screen here I've noticed but if I tap on to that there's an option to In the hills speak. was very boring to liven up okay so that's one option but it's saved in photos now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of there and I'm going to use the Microsoft Lens app so it could either be Lens or it could be OneDrive so if I open up Lens, and uh, let's just take that photo that we did earlier. So there's, there's a photo, let's just go to the next stage. And there it is, The Boy Who Cried a Wolf. So at this stage, Lens gives me some options to maybe uh, crop the photo, uh, maybe add a filter, but I'm, I'm quite happy with that result. So I'm just going to click on Done. And there's, a op there's different options now. So uh, the first one I'm going to choose is just go into Immersive Reader. So give it time to process it. Okay, so there's Immersive Reader. It's come up really nicely, very accurate. Uh, and from there we could maybe use the speech Name, button. date. The boy who cried wolf. Once or we can go into the various options. You can make the text larger. Uh, change the background colour, maybe make it high contrast, and of course there's more colours in there. We can use the book icon and we can use line focus as well, and I've got picture dictionary switched on too. So let's just um, let's scroll up till we find a word, and let's tap and hold onto the word, and there's the symbol images of the word, and we can have that back Beautiful. as well. Beautiful. So that's all, all very good. So let's come back out there, because what I really want to show you is how you can take that picture of an image that was stuck to a door um, and let's export it to Microsoft Word. Off it goes, so it's just going to take time to transfer. So obviously I could carry on doing some work um, on my on my uh, Word app on my phone, that's one option that I could do. So there it goes. So what I now want to do is I want to go into the Word app from Microsoft Word, into Word. So let's start up Word and find, and there's the there's the document that I had. Let's bring that up. I've got it magnified really high up there. So let's just take it down. And now at this stage, what we can do is we can start editing the, the document. Uh, or we could maybe, let's see, let's just go into design and we could maybe just change the background color of that make it a bit easier to see, so we're making it a bit more accessible. And then we can do things that as well, let's just go into, we can either use the built-in feature there uh, for um, speak. Once upon a time in a beautiful. Or we could then either just use the read aloud feature, which is part of Immersive Reader. So let's click on read aloud. The boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time in a beautiful village near lush rolling hills, there was a... So from that poster that I took, that small worksheet that I took a snap of, uh, from on my kitchen door uh, to this really nice document that's now in Word that we can edit it and uh, save and reuse it for, for um, uh, other purposes.